I am so excited to share this with you today. So I love vibe coding. You probably already know that about me. But one thing that I don't love about vibe coding is auth payments and databases. Now, MemberStack has been able to make the auth and payment side easy for me, but there was no databases and that all changes now. With MemberStack data tables, I am so excited to show this to you. So let's get right into it. First things first, I just set up here a simple kind of using Shad CN page. This is going to be like a Twitter light, let's say, for, for demo purposes. We have a sign up page, a login page, and we have this like Twitter feed looking thing, but this isn't connected to anything. There's no member stack, there's no databases, there's no anything right now. We are going to set all of that up super quickly with member stack. So, First things first, I have a member stack app over here. I have cloned the Next.js boilerplate from Vercel in order to make this work, and I'm using Claude code. Along with that, we have the member stack AI documentation, the link to all of these things that I'm saying are in the description, and this is how AI is going to understand how to work with member stack. So that's what I have set up right now, and we have more in-depth videos coming soon that are going to show you really the entire process, but in this case, I wanna show you data tables and how awesome they are. So let's go ahead over here and we can see that this is set up. I'm gonna say, can you install the member stack DOM package at latest? Just so we get, you know, the most recent update. Here are my credentials. Then can you make auth work? So auth is such a pain with vibe coding and like quite literally all you need to do is give it context to member stack and say like make auth work like the most caveman prompt ever and you're you're good to go. Uh, so let's go to dev tools over here and get the app ID and the public key so that it knows what to do. And then I am going to put it in plan mode so that it can figure out what it is going to do. Alrighty, so it's made its plan and everything looks good to me. I'm going to say yes and auto accept edit. So this should get our authentication working so that these beautiful login and sign up pages actually work. And again, that is usually such a pain to do with vibe coding. So this should just be able to one shot it or hopefully with minimal errors. All right, so one prompt and we are good to go. Apparently, let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm gonna click get started up here and then I'm going to just enter some stuff. So it does say we have two issues. I'm not sure if that is going to cause us problems, but we'll find out. I agree. Okay, so there we go. We are now here. Let's go ahead and check out our member stack dashboard. And just like that, we have auth working already. So I'm going to go and quickly figure out what these two errors are and fix them. Shouldn't take me too long. All right, there we go. So I just copy and pasted the errors and we are having no more errors. So this is working. Auth is good. As we can see, Julian up here, all that is good. I can log out. I can make a new account. I can do whatever I want to do. So now let's actually go ahead and get the data tables working. So I'm going to head back over here into member stack. And if you can't see data tables in your left-hand sidebar, just go to the end of your URL like this and type in beta data tables and it will take you to the new data tables feature, just like that. And as you can see, we have absolutely nothing set up. And I'm just gonna keep this simple and just have like a post wall with nothing else. We're not even gonna link it to the members for now for the sake of simplicity. Yes, data table's fine, okay. And we're gonna call this posts. Here is a really big thing. So if you've used Supabase or anything like that with vibe coding, row level security is, is not easy if you don't know what you're doing. And I, for one, don't know what I'm doing. So this is why member stack makes me so happy because all I need to do is say, any member can create one. I could also make it public or only the admin. I wanna say anyone can read it or any member. Let's make it any member. Update rule, members can update their own and members can delete their own. That is how I want and that is all I need to configure. It is now easy and secure. So I'm gonna click create table and then I'm gonna open the table. And I don't even need to configure which member created it or an ID because that just happens automatically with every single record. The only thing I'm gonna to wanna to do here is click out a field and call it content and we're gonna keep it text. So we have text, filterable, unique. So this is good for things like usernames and stuff like that. We have numbers, decimals, booleans, dates, references, emails, and URLs. Again, I only need text. 
Yes, it does need to be required. Add, there we go. Now we have text. And along with that, let's say we have other tables. So I actually built a Twitter clone with far more features than this. And it has things like likes, reposts. And so you can link things throughout your database, just like you could with any relational database. So I have posts table with the content field. I'm going to go ahead and say, now I've created the posts data table in member stack and it has the content text field. Can we make the posting and the displaying of posts work with member stack data tables? Let's do that and let's set it to plan mode. All right, so it has made this plan here, member stack post integration plan, create a post service, update post creation form, replace mock posts, real-time features, enhance features, beautiful. All right, that all sounds good to me. Let's say yes and accept edits and then let's just go over here, sit back and let it do its thing. All right, so it has said that it set it up. Let's go ahead and try it out. I'm just gonna make a post right here and say, hello world post. Look at that. It Seems to be working. I'm going to go ahead and refresh loading. We see hello world. We can also see that it is like super, super fast. Now I'm going to go over here into my data tables and refresh. And just like that, we can see hello world, which was created by Julian on this date. Let's go ahead and try one more. How's it going? And refreshing again. Just like that, we have our auth and database set up in literally just a few minutes. Now we can go ahead and add new fields, new tables, new relationships to make, well, anything that you want to make at the end of the day. This is a relational database. All we've done is made it easy for you to understand so that you can vibe code something and launch it with confidence. There are going to be a lot of videos coming up showing how you can use AI to launch successful web apps. I hope you like this one and I'll see you in the next video.